Oh wait, what is that? Dude. What? No way. I have never found anything like this. I didn't think stuff like this was possible to find coin roll hunting. I mean, the old foreign coins I expected. Yeah. The old wheat pennies I expected. This? Absolutely not. All right, guys, we are back for part two of searching through this 40-year-old box of pennies, which we have already found over 100 wheat pennies apiece. We have tons of awesome coins coming out, including 1800s foreign coins and even some silver. And just like every other competition, however, we're also keeping score with the Quinn's Coins placemat score sheet here. As you can see, the 40s and 50s are worth five, the 10s, 20s, and 30s are worth 10, and all the way down the list here. Here's the current score that we have right now. The first half of this box was amazing. Over 200 wheats have come out so far. Ryan's at a nice even 600 points, and I came up with a 573. So it's a close box so far, and I'm sure the second half will be just as good. With that being said, let's go ahead and continue the hunt. All right, right off the bat here, I just opened my first roll of the second half, and you might not be able to see it in the camera here, but I got a nice little date popping out right here. Let's take a peek here. Huh. This is a 1926 wheat penny. It's a pretty nice coin, too. Wow. So that's a, that's a fantastic start. I'm sure there's more to come out of this roll. Let's see what else we have. Well, it looks like I may actually have something to counter that, Kevin, because mm. I just pulled a 1927 really? wheat penny. It's very close to the one you got. Not as, as uh, good shape, but uh, still going to be worth the same amount of points. That's 10 points on the board for both of us. I've also got a couple of other wheat pennies that came out here as well. All right, I got something here that looks pretty old. I haven't done one of these reveals yet, but this is definitely teens. Yeah, I would uh, say so. Yeah, nice worn rims, nice and thick, really heavily circulated. Let's see what we got here. No, 1920. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's a... Pretty I common mean, coin. Yeah, but, once again, though, yeah. that's another 10-point coin. I actually think I might have one as well over here, guys. I'm making my way towards it. I see this extremely worn-down-looking coin right here. This one, I think, is actually going to be in the 10s, if not, maybe in the 20s. Let's go ahead and flip it, guys. Three, two, one. Yeah, look at that, Kevin. I just matched you for the really? oldest American coin. Kevin got a 1910 in the last episode. That's right. And I just pulled my very own 1910, an awesome looking date. I pulled one of these metal detecting a few years ago and it looked just as good. Actually, it was a little bit better. I love seeing that 1910 for some yeah, reason. Yeah, it's a nice fun like date. A, like a very simple looking date. It's just like a one and a zero. Right. Anyway, we'll go ahead and get onto the rest of this roll and see what else pops out for us. Also in that roll for me, I pulled a 1937. So I've got a nice little variation going here, 1920s. Uh, two 1920s actually, and then the 30s, so 40s and 50s as well, as always. So that's gonna wrap up the first roll for me. Well, that's funny you should say that, Kevin, because I actually got a couple of 1930s of my own. Is that right? You can see right there, 1939. Not in the best shape in the world, but I'll definitely take it. And then once again, another 1939. None of these are super rare or anything. These are somewhat common amongst the pre-40 uh, wheat pennies, however, it is pretty difficult to find those coins, especially in circulation today, so I'm definitely happy with those finds. All right, guys, so check this out. Just on that very first roll, we got 40 points in pre-40s coins alone, and then another 20 points in the 1950s and 40s, some of those common wheat pennies. That is a 60-point roll right there. That's gonna be pretty tough to beat. Wait a minute, guys. <laughs> We were just talking about the rolls. What? I think I finally got my first interesting coin. Ooh, this could actually be a steel, now that I think about it. Oh, I bet it is. That's it's probably a 1943 be. steel cent, which I have found very few is of that, coin roll hunting. That's a, fi oh, 20. <laughs> oh, you got a 1920s over there? No, 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 I was saying the, the point for the steel cent is Oh, 20, okay. But I, I do have something really old here. Yeah, so. I see an old one over here, too. It looks like a oh, 1930s. Yeah. But uh, let's focus on what we believe to be a steel cent right there in the roll. That is... Hopefully going to be either a steel cent, maybe even something cooler, maybe like a Whoa. foreign coin. Oh, you see something already? Yeah, it's not a steel cent. Okay, yep, it is not a steel cent. What do we got underneath it? Oh, it's a 66. All right, so it's not a 1943 steel cent. It is going to be my first foreign. Kevin has already found four foreign coins out of here, and I think the oldest, or the newest one, is probably in the, from the 1920s, right? Yep, I think it was the 1927 Russian-ish coin. Okay, so that's sort of like a starting point for where this could be at, guys. Check this out. Let's take a look here and see what we're gonna get for a date. Three, two, one. 1919 is the huh. date, and it's a five cent coin, it looks like. I could not tell you where that's from, but I will put some information up here on the screen so you can check it out. That is an awesome find right there, guys. My first foreign coin, 
up against Kevin's four foreign coins, one of which was from 1858. Yeah. Unbelievable. If you haven't seen the first video, definitely go check it out. That's not silver, is it? Looks I like a nickel. doubt it. It's very yeah. light. Yeah. It has the hole in the middle. I don't think it's silver, but uh, it is definitely cool. Yeah, every single foreign coin to come out of this box has been just really unique and really interesting. Yeah. So, yeah. I don't, interesting. Yeah. So, yep. So, here's this was actually an ender, but uh, none of these rolls are crimped, so we can't see the ends. But uh, this might be um, just a really beat up, like 50s or 40s, but it also might be able to see what we got here. Yeah, look at Whoa. that. 1912, I believe. Yeah. So, that's. That is my, no, it's my second oldest coin out of this box so far, but that's that's awesome. All right, another pretty productive roll for me after the 1912 Ender. I did get another 1920s. This is a 1924 Philadelphia, so nice worn coin there. And then I got two more 30s as well, 1935? Uh, they're both 35, cool. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> yep, so uh, there's 30 points right there. Sweet. This roll is like stiff. Like it's not as... Uh falling apart as some of the other ones. Hmm. So I think I'll try to preserve it. It also says 1945 in two different places. I was just gonna say, I'm cracking into my next roll here, and it's just like Ryan's. It's got 1944 <laughs> all over this roll in three separate places. So uh, we haven't had a solid roll of a single date so far, but he must have had his dates sorted out like that at oh, some time. Look at that. Something interesting that, coming out. Is that, that two looks, in a row? Whoa, that that's looks the, the same, same one. Yeah, that looks at least very similar to the one we found earlier. So yeah, like you were saying, they're not solid dates. And it does have the hole in it once again. Huh. This is actually going to be, it looks like the newest foreign coin that we have found so far. That says Denmark. You gotta assume that means Denmark. Denmark. Yeah, CXR. It has the crown, it has the hole, and we already know the date. Let's see what the other side has. Okay, so this isn't quite the same. They're sort of similar though. That's going to be another two points uh, because we don't actually know how to uh, count those older foreign coins. Unfortunately, we only have a slot for uh, foreign coins and they're two points apiece. So another two points on the board for me there. So nothing in your 1944 roll over there, Kevin? Huh? <laughs> oh, the one labeled 1944. Yeah. Um, yep, nothing special. Just, uh, I think I had a 130 and 40s and 50s. So there was a 1944 in there all though, so. <laughs> Maybe I just really wanted to keep track of that one. Yeah, maybe, maybe. I don't think this last one I opened had anything on it, and surprisingly, I've gone halfway through the roll without finding a single wheat penny. Really? Yet. That is a record for me. Oh, Most here we go. Here's something you will like. Oh, okay. You got yourself a uh, older Canadian coin there. So, if I'm going to test my Canadian knowledge here, this is still a young hat, right? That's correct. It's 53 is the cutoff. Uh, yeah, actually, no, is it? Yeah, it's either 52 or 53. No, okay. no I'm drawing one. <laughs> yep, there she is. But I will say the 54, there's actually some interesting stuff going on with the 54, and it's one of the lower minted uh, uh, dates. So actually, if really? I'll, I'll go grab my Canadian book. We'll take a look at that. All right, guys, so check this out. This is the coin that Kevin just found, a 1954 Younghead Canadian penny. This is something that you would actually potentially find in a regular roll of pennies, not a 40-year-old roll. Uh, so you can still find these today, especially if you're up in the northern part of the United States. And if taking a look at our Canadian book here, 1954 is actually the rarest year of this series. So 22 million minted and very fine 12, it's worth 25 cents. But there's actually a variety here, the no shoulder folds variety, which is actually worth quite a bit more as you can see here. Wow. Uh, so we'll have to take a look and see if that is the no shoulder folds variety. It might be hard to tell in this condition, but uh, we'll take a look at it anyway and let you know. All right, guys, so as far as the 1954 Canadian penny goes, the way that you are able to tell if you have the rare one, you look at the I and the, the word D-E-I, and you see if it's pointing in between two denticles versus straight at one. If it's pointing in between, you have the rare one. So we can take a look at that. We have uh, our little thing right here, which we can use to magnify. You take a look at that I, see if it's pointing in between. Unfortunately, this one looks like it is pointing straight at the denticle, so it's not going to be the rare variety. But it's fun to check for that. I've had to do it a couple of times. And this is, like I said, the rarest overall. So either way, you have a pretty nice coin. So congratulations on that one, Kevin. There you are. <laughs> okay, I don't know what it is, but the rolls that I've been looking through recently have just had like absolutely nothing. Like I had really? one that had zero wheat pennies. This one doesn't really look like it's gonna have any either. So that might give you a chance to catch up. Oh, we got one at least. Oh wait, what is that? Dude, what? No way. 
I have never found anything like this, and we don't have anything on the score sheet for it either. Okay, so we got a wheat penny here, <laughs> and I'm not talking about the wheat penny. Yeah. Oh my gosh, guys. I didn't think stuff like this was possible to find coin roll hunting because of the shape of it. I guess it might be more possible when you have a customer app roll like this, but that is unbelievable. If this was a collector who put these rolls together, I don't right. know how this went through his hands and he said, oh yeah, I'm just gonna put that on a roll. I have no idea, but this is definitely something that I wasn't expecting to come out today. I mean, the old foreign coins I expected. Yeah. The old wheat pennies I expected. This, absolutely not. Especially with the shape of it. I mean, that is just unbelievable, guys. So, I don't know. I guess we could count this as a blank planchet because we do have that on the score sheet at 15 points. And it's mm -hmm. partially a blank planchet, if you think about it. So, unfortunately, we do not have a date. It is um, in the 1900s, so we know that. Right. Yeah, right. <laughs> um, it, it looks to be copper. I mean, everything on this box has been copper so far. I've never had an off-strike you like never had one in your I've collection never, before? I've never really dealt with one, no. Wow. So, yeah, that is kind of unfortunate. We can't see the date. We can just about make it out it's 19 something and flipping it over to the reverse here i don't know if that right there is like damage uh like post mint damage or mm -hmm. if that is actually from the mint you can see it has a big uh, thumbprint on it and i promise you that was neither of us <laughs> looks like that's been there for quite a while but you see this straight line right here huh. i don't know how that uh, was caused and i do see like some a couple of other lines around the rim but that seems to follow the pattern uh, of the off struck coin so i think that was probably made during the minting process but i don't know what that straight line is doing there uh, hopefully that doesn't hurt the value of the coin uh, if it was made during the minting process maybe it uh, makes uh, the value even better i don't <laughs> know but uh, let me know down in the comments guys what you think about this this is one of the coolest finds that i have ever had coin roll hunting for sure and definitely a first for me we got a we got a teens here oh really so this is definitely a step up as far as wheat pennies go from the last roll 1919, pretty clear date right there, so that's pretty cool. And a 1927 coming up uh, wow. pretty quickly right after that. And I'd say this one's in uh, pretty good shape too for a 1927. You still got a little bit of detail back there on the reverse as well. Oh, how did I miss this? <laughs> what is this? This was just in my pile of wheats. <laughs> this is a 1920 San Francisco. Whoa, which okay. is Which is pretty cool. That might be a low mintage. It is, I just saw yeah, that. Yep. So we got our low mintage. Below 50 million minted, 1920S does make it onto that list. Yeah, I was just making a little pile of all the wheats I found in, a, in that roll, just like every roll, and I was going through it. And it's like, <laughs> whoa. Oh, yeah, definitely pays to double check. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Did you just have another roll explode I just, on you? I picked it up by both ends, and it just crumbled. Are you kidding me? <laughs> so, I don't think much got off the table. Oh, here's a wheat in the floor. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> I'll let you look through that, but there's a 1927 coming out of the roll that just exploded. <laughs> so hopefully, or I'm glad I didn't lose that one. Yeah, look at this. Look how close this one is to exploding here. <laughs> pretty, pretty messed up. It's like a grenade. Yeah. 61 Denver is what the roll is marked, and what's gonna be inside? Not 61 Denver. <laughs> Oh, we got a nice older looking wheat penny though, also very corroded, but uh, let's see what we're gonna get on the date on that one. Three, two, one. Yeah, 1918 it looks like. So we got a teens wheat penny right there. Still pretty common, but uh, it's gonna be worth 10 points for us. Nice. Go ahead and add it to the pile. All right, this has to be a 1909. <laughs> That'd be pretty sweet. <laughs> Look at that. Very slick. All right, let's see what we got here. 1920, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Again. It's oh, did, a... did you keep that 1920S separate? Yep. Okay, yep. cool. Yep. All right, guys, we're coming down to the last five rolls here, and we still haven't seen an Indian head penny come out. Yeah. Uh, we have seen quite a few other really amazing stuff come out, though, so we'll see if that Indian head penny is uh, still in the cards or not. But, uh, yeah, all we can do is go through the rest of the rolls and see what pops out. This one's a... Uh tearing at the seams too. Yeah. We haven't really opened one like this just to see all the copper lined up like that. So, whoops, well, there it goes. <laughs> you, anyway, every single time. Yep. Uh, you got a couple of nice looking wheats right there. You know, I guess that's a faster way to go through the roll. Yeah, for sure. All right. Didn't well, the Indian pop up at the end of the last box? I think it did actually, yeah. So, you know, there's still hope here. All right, this 
role is labeled 1946 in three places. It looks like he's done that quite a bit, actually. It's my, <laughs> my last one here is 1940. Yeah. Uh, that's only in two places. Oh, no, it's three. So <laughs> let's check out this 1946 role and see if there's any 1946 in there. <laughs> Sounds good. While you're doing that, I actually just grabbed uh, two 1930s out of this role, a 37 and a 39. So there's those for you. That'll do, do some wonders for the points, I believe. Wow, that doesn't really look like... That's kind of a tough roll. I don't see any wheats, wheats over there. Uh, yeah, I think you're right. <laughs> wow. I did have a couple rolls like that, so it does happen. So I'm just finishing up my second to last roll now. I actually have, like, a ton. This is probably one of the most... Uh, biggest wheat harvests that I have ever had really uh, out of a roll and uh, especially in this box so yeah let me show you how many wheats I got coming out here oh my gosh it's okay so here here's the wheat pennies right here that's like what 12 or something and then I had two more uh, pre 1940s so that was definitely a good roll, guys. We're going to go ahead and tally up the points and see where we're at. All right, it's a little messy here, but I think we got everything figured out. Adding up all the scores up until the very last roll for each of us, Ryan is at 989 points, and I came out to 1,063. So I'm not too sure how I pulled ahead that far, but uh, I must have had, you know, just a couple extra wheats in each roll or something. Yeah, that's, that's what it looks like. I mean, you also had that uh, low mintage coin, which gave you 25 that's points. Right, that yeah. was a nice one to get you ahead. But, I mean, you're still, you're, you're almost 100 points ahead at this yeah. point. So I'm definitely going to need to pull something great out here towards the end. I don't know how that happened either because I was thinking, like, I was feeling pretty good over the right. second half like that, that I had this in the bag. But uh, that's definitely not what the score shows. So, anyway, here is my last roll. It's 1972, or at least that's what it's marked. What do you got over there, Kevin, for your yep, last Yep, just looking roll. at my last roll. So, as I was saying before, this is the one with 1940 written on it three times. And it looks like there was actually some tape on the roll at yeah. one point in time. I wonder why he wanted this roll shut, or maybe it's just being reused. Yeah. But uh, the last roll like this, I think it was 1946 I had on it. It had nothing in it, so right. I kind of have low expectations here. Yeah, there, there were a couple that were like that, so we'll see how these last ones go. Maybe we'll get something really cool out. We're still waiting on that Indian head penny, so maybe yeah. maybe we'll get one of those out here at the end. But uh, all right, getting into it now, guys. I am really not seeing much on my end over here. Can't even get them out. That, yeah, that is, it kind of sucks because I could really use something good here towards the end. It looks like Kevin's got at least one wheat penny. Yeah. All right, guys. I got a 1940. That's five points. Let's keep moving. We got it. We got to get a lot of them here. Here's another wheat. 44. Another five points. All right. Let's keep moving. Keep moving. This one may be something older. I'm gonna save that one for the end because it may just come down to a coin like that. I don't know. I got a 52 here. There's a 45, and I'm holding a 1939. Oh so my that's a 10 gosh! Point coin. Just you, putting the dagger in the coffin. You're there. killing me, man. I got a 1955. I wish it was the double die. I don't think I would think that would be worth any more. Oh, though. I thought this was gonna be another 39. It's a 29. Are you so. kidding me? Oh, that sucks. Okay, so we got we got wheat pennies coming out. So that's okay. a good sign. I just haven't seen anything super great. I think we would need a key date at this point. 56. We got all 50s and 40s so far. I do have one coin I'm going to be able to reveal towards the end, though. Before he does that, this was my last wheat out of the box, and it is a 1955 Philadelphia, okay. and I'm not seeing anything on it. So as of now, I'm done. Okay, so how many wheats did you get on the roll? Uh, six wheats, two worth, no, 130, 120, uh -huh. five or four 50s. Okay, so you got 40 points there, right? Yes. Yep. Okay. I have, it looks like, seven wheats right here, and these are all 40s and 50s, so that's 35 points. And then this one right here is either going to be amazing, and it's going to put me ahead, or it's going to do absolutely nothing for me. Looking at it again, it doesn't look that old. This is literally my only hope, and it probably has to be a key date. Let's see if we can get it, guys, to get us ahead here. Three, two... One and it's just going to be a measly 1950, which is kind of ironic because that's how we started the box. We had like three 1950s all in yeah. the same roll. So I also got 40 points on that roll, which means that uh, the scores basically aren't going to change. That does, however, put me above 1,000 points, which is kind of yeah. cool. Kevin was already over a thousand points, so it looks like you are going to end at 1,103 points. 
and I will be ending at 1,029 points, and that is our final score. So here is our official final score. Quinn at 1,029, Kevin at 1,103 for a total box score of 2,132 points. That is very impressive. Coming down to the end of the video, I figured I would just go ahead and show off all of the finds that I made. So all of these are from the 10s, 20s, and 30s. There's a good distribution there. Uh, these are going to be from the second half. These are 40s and 50s, and then these are actually from the first half. The first half seemed to be uh, quite a bit more pr uh, productive for me, uh, so I was actually glad just to be able to get up over 1,000 points, uh, which was pretty cool to do. Obviously, I did find a couple of really cool foreign coins, and I still don't know exactly what those are, but by the time I'm putting the video together, I will. Uh, so I'll have that information for you. And then I think this is definitely by far the coolest coin, maybe even in the box. I don't know if you would agree with me on that, Kevin. But, yeah, probably uh, for uniqueness and something yeah. you don't find, that's probably the best coin to come out. Yeah, that, that's what I was thinking. I mean, I've never found anything like this. I didn't think that it was possible to find anything like this in a coin roll, so I'm definitely very, very happy with it. Uh, we didn't actually count this for any points. If we had, maybe things would have been different, but then on the other hand, there's a lot of things that Kevin found that probably mm -hmm. should have been counted for points as well, and this includes stuff from the first part, so let's take a look at Kevin's finds over here. Yep, so I kind of mixed up both halves of this box together already. So these are all my 40s and 50s. Um, I don't really have it counted up. Looks like 30 stacks of fives. Wow. So, yeah, right around, uh, would that be 600? No, not 600. Uh, each stack is 25, so 30 times 25. We'll do the math points, real quick. 30 times 25, or, 750. Okay, yep, so, okay. 750 points. But, uh, yep, so that, that's that. And then here's my little stack of 1930s. And then here's are the 20s I found. So pretty good numbers there. And then here's the special finds that we have. Our whole top row of foreign coins. First up, just a little young head, 1954 Canadian. And then going over, this is a coin that I actually just looked up. It's from Hungary. It's a 1927-2 filling. So kind of a... Weird denomination, but super cool. Glad to have it. Never had a coin like that before. And then here is the oldest coin I think either of us have ever pulled out of a... By far. By far the oldest coin right there yep. that any of us have ever found. Yep, in a, in a box. Uh, 18, that's right, 1858. And this is actually from Austria. It's like yep. a one cent, I guess you could call it. And the, like the A is the mint mark. I couldn't find out where that's from. But, uh, yep, it's an Austrian coin. Super old. That's like Flying Eagle Age. Yeah. And then this is probably the coolest looking coin, I think, to come out of the box. Um, something I've never seen before. It's an 1878 Netherlands one cent coin. So something else just super old, super, you know, it's foreign. It's really unique. And then I was right on the dot for this one. It says a three pence. It's a, a Great Britain um, three pence silver coin. So uh, I think we had silver come out of the last box too, but it's super cool to see it come out of this box as well. Yeah. <laughs> and then here's my better wheat scent finds, just a really nice 1957 mint state. Um, here's probably the best, uh, the most rare coin I found, a 1920 San Francisco. It's a yeah. pretty decent shape. Well, no, that side isn't. Yeah, that side's <laughs> not great. <laughs> yeah, but uh, the obverse is uh, is pretty sharp. And then just some really old ones. I got a 1912 and then a 1910. So that's the oldest American coin for me, um, for both of us, I think. You found a 1910 as well. Yeah, but, I did find a 1910. So that's the oldest American, clearly the oldest foreign, and literally the oldest coin we've found overall in our five, six years of coin roll hunting. 1858. That thing actually looks like it's taken an acid bath, so that's a yep. little unfortunate. It's but, definitely uh, been cleaned. Yeah, but anyway, that is just an awesome find, Kevin. Congratulations on your win. I don't yeah. actually remember who won the last one because it was so either. long ago. Yeah. But uh, congratulations anyway. I appreciate you coming on here, and I had a lot of fun looking through this. Yeah, show. this was a blast. And of course, thank you to David for sending us this box. If uh, you want to send us some more, <laughs> we're definitely open to it. Uh, it's I, only going to take another two years to film it. But, yeah, uh, exactly. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we're definitely open for it. So thank you so much for sending that our way, and I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. As always, if you want to pick up one of these coin roll hunting placemats to aid you in your own penny roll hunting, you can head on over to my website at quinscoins.com. You know what to do. Links are down in the description below. I also have uh, silver stacking and nickel placemats up there for you as well. 
And with that being said, that's going to pretty much do it for this one. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to go down below and leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new because I post new videos like this every single week. Always bringing you along with the hunts and having a good time. And as always, I'm Quinn, and this is Quinn's Coin signing out. And I will see you in the next one. See you guys.